First pitch taken down the third baseline. It's a fair ball. Eusebio scores easily. Collins going from first to third. Thompson trying to stretch this into a double. Slides feet first, and he is safe. The Hurricanes on top, two to nothing, with runners on second and third. Big spot for Miami right now. They can really break the game open. Collins, a moot shot to right center field. This one is gone. Zach Collins, a three-run shot, and it's six nothing Miami. You can kiss it goodbye. Wow, off the bat. Yeah, that's what you would call a no-doubter, AJ. Way into the hurricane bullpen. Here's the pitch. Swung wow. on to deep right field. This one's oh going back. God. This one is that's gone. Good. Walk off for the win. Ooh. Gary Kennedy kisses it goodbye. And the 2-2. Cracked up, it's a base hit into center field. Collins will score. Hayward around third. Here is the throw to the plate. Not in time. The Miami Hurricanes have tied the game in the top of the ninth inning. It is 3-3. And now he's swinging it. It's a base hit into center field. Coming around third and scoring is William Rayu. And Miami has a 4-3 lead in the top of the ninth inning. Fly ball to left field, coming in is Chester, and he makes the catch to end the game. The Hurricanes come charging out of the dugout, and Miami comes from behind to beat North Carolina. There's the 2-0. Collins takes this out to deep right field. <laughs> Not a chance. Gone! Zach Collins gives Miami the lead. The 0-2 pitch to Adam Pate. He fires. It's a pop fly tailing towards the Miami dugout. Barr is under it. It'll stay in play. He makes the catch. The Cardiac Canes take the series from Carolina. Swung on deep to left field. That ball looks gone, and that ball is gone. Three-run shot from David Thompson. Dímelo cantando, David. For three runs, and Gary Kennedy has a shot to right field now, and that's going to be out. First pitch of the second inning, and Gary Kennedy says goodbye. Pitch from Holtman is deep, and it's gone. William Reyu, El Caballo, three-run shot. Here's the 0-1 pitch to Collins. This is a long fly ball to deep right field. Going back, and this is a no-doubter. Gone off the garage. The fourth home run of the day for the Hurricanes. And they keep tacking them on. It's 10 to nothing, Miami. Garcia, curveball, struck him out outside corner. That's the ball game. Bounce back for the Hurricanes. A 12 nothing victory over Florida State. The one two pitch. Off speed. Thompson lifts it in the left field. It's a base hit. It's a base hit. And Iskandarian rounding third. The Canes have the lead. Delirium and Durham. Six to five, Miami leads. What an at-bat from David Thompson. One, two, fighting off a pitch, just throwing out his hands. The pitch to Kennedy, a high pop fly to deep right field, going back at the wall. It's out of here! Garrett Kennedy clears the bases. It's 9-5 to five, Miami. Unbelievable. Garrett Kennedy, a three-run blast. His seventh home run of the season. And Miami has broken away. They've taken control. It's all Miami. The 2-2 pitch to Barr. Swung on and lined out to deep right field. Going back. Oh my goodness, Chris Barr with his first home run of the season. It ties the game. Chris Barr, his first home run as a Miami Hurricane. Could not come at a better time. Here's the 2-1 pitch. Lopez gets a hold of this one out to deep center field and nears the track, and that's the ball game. Ninth inning magic for Miami. They walk it off, and the Hurricanes in their ACC tournament with a win over Notre Dame. Brandon Lopez, the hero. This is a ground ball towards short. Lopez, the toss to Iskandarian. Over to Barr, it's a 6-4-3 double play. Here's a 1-1. Thompson down the third baseline. It's a fair ball into the left field.
bullpen. Iskandarian's going to score with ease. Collins in the third, and he's rounding. Thompson's in the second easily, and Collins is going to score with no throw. It's 3 0 Miami, a two RBI double for David Thompson. The mark like faithful on their feet. Here's the pitch. A slider swung on and missed him and strikes out the side. And the Canes win this one. Six to two. Go slice towards Lopez. The dive, the catch. The ice cream catch on a dive by Brandon Lopez. And there's two away. It's a web gem right there. It's a two one. Popped up in the infield. This might be it. Barr is camped under it on the right side. And that's it. Abreu, this is out of here. Wow. Willie Abreu, a three-run blast off the Ponce garage. Are you kidding me? The one-two pitch. High towering pop fly out to left field. Hayward trying to track it down. He's at the track. And he makes the catch. And the road to Omaha will continue for the Miami Hurricanes. Miami has won the Coral Gables Regional, flexing their muscles tonight. Two outs. Canes lead by a run. The pitch is swung on, grounded towards Iskandarian at second. Has it in his glove. The throw to Barr, and the Miami Hurricanes are one win away from Omaha. They win game one of the Coral Gables Super Regional, 3-2. to two. Here's the pitch from Abrams. The slider waved out and missed. One out. Big out for Sam Abrams. There. Kicks and fires. A slider struck him out. Two outs for Abrams. He struck out two in a row and on two sliders. He fires. Here's the pitch. This one's hit high towards right field. Abreu goes back. Looks like he's under it. Makes the catch. And Sam Abrams works out of a bases loaded jam. GM going crazy in front of the Canes dugout. Abreu shoots this out towards right field. It's going back and it's a solo blast for Willie Abreu. It's 10 to 3 Miami at exclamation points. And they want a curtain call again. There he is. Garcia, the 1 2 pitch. Line towards short. Lopez has a glove on it. The toss to his Kadarian. And after seven years, the drought is over. The Miami Hurricanes. Here's the one-two pitch. Hayward swings, it's out in the left center field. Chester's rounding third, there will be no play at home. My oh Miami, the Canes are alive! Jacob Hayward walks it off for Miami. The season will continue for the Canes. Just playing hard for my teammates, you know. Um, I wasn't playing at the start of the year and I just appreciate Coach for having faith in me, you know, and all my teammates having faith in me just for respect of me being a player and just wanted to do the best I could for my teammates. And I feel like they deserve that. And we all know that we worked hard all season and just have fun and play the game hard for my team. I'm proud of our guys. They've worked very hard uh, the entire season. I feel like our group was a close-knit group that's, that's stuck together uh, and ended up one of the top teams in the country. And I'm proud of what they've accomplished. I'm proud of what they've done and where we've got to.